Hello everyone. We will continue the topic function module. And in the previous video, we are ready with our function module. Firstly, we will run this function module independently. We will check are we getting a expected output. Then we will call the function module inside the program. I will run this function module independently first. I will click on to execute button. Now you can see our input is also in the form of internal table. I will click on to internal table button. We have how many column? Four column, sign, option, low and high. Suppose I will go for I. I means include. Suppose we will go for range, low and high both. So I will use the relational operator between. If you want a full understanding why I have written between, you can listen the video. What are the four parts of select option? At that time, you will understand why I used between. Whenever we are going for low and high both, the relational operator is between. Suppose I am going for order number one to order number two. Three. So our input is ready. Now I will click on to execute button. Now you can see we got the eight records in the output internal table. You can see how many column? Six column. We have how many records? Six records. First three records, order number one. Then two records for order number two and three records for order number three. And you can see we have a output of multiple order number and we can pass the input as multiple order numbers. So our function module is independently working fine. Perfect. Now customer will not run the function module. We need to call the function module inside a program. So we will create a program and we will call the function module inside the program. So I will go to SC38 transaction. Now I will create a new program. Suppose I'm saying ZPRG display order. Okay, display multiple orders. Suppose we like display multiple orders. We'll go for create. I will give the title. Displaying the order details. We'll take the type as executable program. We'll go for save. I will save it as a local object. Now our input is range of order number, multiple values of order number. So we will not go for select option. We will not go for parameter. Sorry, we'll not go for parameter. We'll go for select option. So for the select option, what is the keyword? Select options. I will give some name to the select option. Suppose I'm saying S underscore O N O. For the select option, keyword is four, F O R. Now I will write some variable LV underscore O N O. Now I will get a syntax error because I need to declare this variable. How I will declare this variable? Data LV underscore O N O type. I will pass the data element of order number. I'll copy from the table itself. I 
I'll check the syntax and activate the program. So this variable is of this referring to this data element. This data element has a domain of numeric 10. So this variable is numeric 10. This variable is this select option is for this variable. It means this select option is also what numeric 10. So our select option of numeric 10 is ready. How to provide the selection text? Go to text element selection text. And I will choose the dictionary reference. Dictionary reference means it will take from the data element itself. And it took the description from the data element. Now I will run the program. You can see our range of order number is red. Now we will not write the logic. Logic is already written in the function module. So we will only only call the function module here. And you all know whenever you want to call a function module, you need to click on to which button? Pattern button will pass the name of the function module which we created. This is not the function module. This is the function module, display multiple orders. Yes, we'll copy this function module. We will pass. Now, again, that same to same point, when we created the function module, S-O-N-O -O is importing. Here it is coming at what? Exporting. When we created the function module, LT final was exporting. Here it is coming as importing. I will uncomment. So this select option will I am passing to SONO. And in front of LT final, I will declare my internal table. Suppose my name of the internal table is LT underscore output. And now you all know very, very well, this values will pass from right to left while returning LT final will return to LT underscore output. And what will be the type of LT underscore output? It will be same as that of LT final. So how I will check the type of LT output here? LT final is importing. It means in the function module, it will be the part of exporting. So I will copy this type and I will declare in my program. Data LT underscore output type table type. I will not use the word table of because it is already a table type. Now, internal table type, table type. So now I will declare work area. LWA underscore output type. Now work area is never, never a table. Work area is always we are referring through structure type. So this is our structure type. So we will copy this structure type and we will pass. So work area of six columns is there. We will apply a loop on the internal table. You all know we will apply a loop on the internal table. We will pass the records to work area one by one and we will display using right state. This is a repetitive revision, right? I will write the output of six columns. Order number, order date, payment mode, currency,
order item number item cost this is a repetitive logic so many times we have written same to same logic so what is the summary of the video in this video we run the function module independently and function module is working fine then we call the function module inside the program using pattern button we took the select option because now we have a range of order number our output from the function module will come into this internal table and we displayed the output yes using write statement in the next video whenever we will run this program we will cover one of the most important point in terms of function module and we will cover that point in the next video in the next video we will run this program and we will check the output in the next video so that's it in this video thank you